Hi yo guys, it's Pika10 and welcome to your second Roblox Luar tutorial. And in this tutorial we'll be covering the basics of variables and how to use them with maths and stuff. Now I realise my cam recording studio isn't very good. You Hopefully you could be able to see, read the words. I'm going to try and zoom in if I can and I can't on the output. But in the script I can zoom in and out so hopefully you can read it because I read us on the last video. Uh, you couldn't read it very well. And I have Mr. Uno here. Yo. Is um, watching me record this. So I hope he doesn't distract you too much. Right, we'll just go ahead and delete that one. Because that's the rubbish, basically, the Hello World one. So, the first thing we need to do is start a variable. Now, there are, um, as far as I know, not ma very many different variable types in Lua. But we'll start with just a basic number. So, oh no, that's C++, hang on, sorry, I've been doing C++ all day. You just make a random name for a variable, so we call this variable my variable equals 1. So, oh, don't need, semi don't need semicolons or anything, you can just, just name it and put equals. So, whenever you say my variable, it means 1. So, if we use the print function we learned in the last tutorial, it will print 1. No, we want to print my variable. If we print my variable it will print 1 so because that is equal to 1 sorry guys I had to take a quick break my phone rang well as I was saying if you say print my variable it will print 1 because that is set equal to 1 but that's boring that can't do anything what's the point in that we can make them have maths so my variable equals 1 add 1 if you print my variable now it will equal 2 or print 2 not equal to if I said my other variable, make sure you spell it right, actually it's not important this one, equals 5, add my variable, make sure you spell that right, that one does have to be right, then it will print 5, add two, 1 plus 1, which is 7. Let's test this. And as you see, it's did not do anything because I bet we're I have no idea why I didn't do anything hang on sorry guys I had a technical glitch my output wasn't working so I reinstalled Roblox and I've got the place back up again as you see it's almost exactly the same as it was before and now it is working I've changed print to my other variable so it will now print this one which is 5 plus my variable and so it should print 7 now other than 2 I put before and I pressed it and it's gonna said running script script which is the name of our script and now it says 7 the next thing what well, you can do all mass functions let's zoom in again so if we go times variable equals my other variable which would be 7 as we did before times 15 you print you print if you print times variable Make sure you spell it right. I'm not very good at this spelling. Print times variable. It will print 7 times 15. And did it work? I can't believe I've edited it with that. Yes, it did. 105. Whoop, keep zooming out. That's annoying. Now, there's you can have loads of math functions. The math function library. Oh, as well as the exponent... I don't know how you pronounce this. Exponential operator. Which is... Uh, if, if you've learned this at school, to the power of. So my variable equals 1 to the power of my other variable, which is 7. So 1 times 7, no, 1 times 1 times 1 times 1 times 7 times, basically, which is obviously 1. But if we had 5, it would be 5 times 5 times 5 times 5, 7 times. That's not the same as 5 times 7. 5 times 7 is 5, add 7, 7 times. And 5, 5 to the power of my other variable, which is 7, is 105 about. No, it's not. That's, that's rubbish. Oh, sorry guys. My internet connection cut out and I was trying to fix it. So now I'm back. Right, we don't print the times variable. We want to print my variable again. So if you print my variable, it will print 5 to the power of my other variable, which is 7. So 5 times 5 to the power of 7, if this works, is 
and it's not loading again. Uh, why? Is oh, there we go. It's just taking a long time. I have no idea why it's taking that long. Maybe because of my bad internet connection. Because it just had that there. It's 78,125. Uh, the next thing we need to cover is strings. Now, what are strings, you say? We don't use a piece of string in this. It is where this is a string. Just anything in quotes. So if we put my string equals that, whatever that says, is, and then you print my string, guess what it will print? That's right, it is whatever we just said, and it's taking forever to print for some reason. This would print in an instant. And we 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 didn't we don't need to be using this script. We could use command nine for this sort of thing, but we like using scripts better because they're cool. They're scripts, not command line. If we put my string equals my string, well, we don't want the same variable name. Another string equals my string add um, hi. What do you think will happen? Will it work? Will it won't? No, it will not work. It says a, pre a pre attempt, attempt to perform arithmetic on global my string, a string value. That means it's trying to m get maths on string, which does not work. You if it won't. Sorry. Shut up, Mr. Runo. It will print if this two dots is basically means that my it was con concatenation operator. I think is how you say it. Um, it will print high after my string, so print that, then high, with no spaces or anything. We could do a space, we just put space there. If we do this, then if it w when it works, it will print that, then it'll have a space and print high, or it won't. No, that's because we're printing my string still, not another string. How stupid. Sorry, I've had a long day, I'm not very good at this at the moment. Press play. I've been I'm used to C plus plus at the moment, so haven't been doing Lua ages. Yep, it prints that what our made up word and then hi. So we have all of them. What can we do with them? If you want to make a message, so say we had player names equals pighead ten because I always win, don't I? player names, I'm not a player, I'm a winner name, there's just one winner name, then we want to print that text equals the winner is wait, I'm not going to space there, and then we can print if um, later, later in another tutorial these will be changing they will be changing throughout um, with other things that people enter, other things that happen. So if you print another string, we print text, and then comma. In pr only in print you can use comma. Nothing else you can comma because this is a function, and you can put different arguments. So we'll treat it like it's something else, and put dot dot, and then put, and then put winner name. So if we use this, press play, and it will say, when it loads, the winner is dot 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 pighead ten because I always win, obviously, especially if it's sword fighting. The other thing, these 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 variables can change. We can check win a name now equals Mr. Runo, even though he doesn't usually win anything. Oi. Then if we print this again, let's just copy and paste because we're lazy. Press play. Then it'll say the winner's pick 10, then it'll say the winner's Mr. Runo because that value has changed. You can do that with numbers as well. You can put i equals 1, then i equals i plus 1. What do you think that will do? That will just make that equal 1 plus 1, which would be 2. So if you then print i, it will print 2. So they don't they don't have to stay the same. The, uh, the next tutorial will be going on to tables, but in t and I hope you learned lots from this tutorial, even though I didn't show you much. 
Actually, in the next tutorial, do you, do you want to go onto tables, or do you want to, which is a form of data storage and organization, or do you want to go onto properties where we can make um, the bricks change color, we can make them change material, we can make them start flying, we can make them fall down, or do you want to go into tables, which can can be used for a lot of useful things when we get later on. Actually, I think I'll do properties now because that'll keep you guys more interested and is not boring because tables you'll probably find boring at this stage. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Don't forget to subscribe, and we'll see you in the next tutorial.